Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I thought I'd show you how to make my little brownie Girl Scout. Now this is a design that Linda Ardolino from Rainbow Loom Obsession on Facebook and I have come up with together. And so um, this is this is she. We've already done our little uh, daisy. So this is the next one in our little Girl Scout series. Our little brownie. So things we're going to need. I'm going to be using brown bands, some white bands for her socks and shirt, some black bands for her, shoes, some skin tone, a single red and I'm also going to use two of my little mini pony beads. These are a size 4mm by 7mm and you're going to need two of those. You don't have to use those, you can use um, bead, uh, bands, I'm sorry, they work just as well. If you were going to use a band instead, you'd take two bands, one for each eye and you would put them on your hook and wrap once, twice, three times and four times and that is the same as one bead okay so exactly the same you do exactly the same except you wrap it around your hook that many times and off we go all right so our loom we're going to have a single loom it's going to be in the offset configuration columns one and three are going to be slightly lower than column two and we're going to have the open part of the peg facing towards us with the arrow. You can see I've got my little arrow here on my third third um, column of pegs here facing towards us. We're going to be double banding, which means you take two bands and you place them together on your pegs like that. And it gives your figure a little bit more of a robust feeling, a little bit stronger. We're going to do the crafty ladybug technique with hair at the back of the head. So let's get started. I'm using the Rainbow Loom Coco bands for her hair. And we will place them here as our first layer. Now with the hair, you are doing another layer on top, so you do have to push things down um, quite a significant amount to make room. So we doing our little shape here for the back of the head like that push things down now we're going to have two bands here for the base of the neck we're going to take our hook and wrap a single band once and twice on our hook and place it here as our little end cap all right right there I'm going to use two single bands the first one is going to go across here in a triangle shape as our crossover band and the other one is going to go above it like so. Now it's important that we start by looming up the back of her, looping up the back of her hair. So let's dig down past that end cap and loop up the first one, push things down. You're going to then go to the side, so from your centre peg here, pick up the two top bands and loop them to their side. And then the next two bands go to their corresponding side, one up the middle and two up the middle. You do two up the middle and then here we just do one up this side and one up this side. All right, we're going to move to flesh tone, skin tone, two bands. You're skipping from peg one to two and you're going from two to three. And again, remember, push things down, it's going to get crowded. Do from the side for her jaw and the other side of her jaw. Two bands for the neck. We're going to take a single band and stretch it across here as our crossover. Then we're going to take a single band and twist it once, twice, and three times and place across the face here. That's to stop these beads or the eyes from falling to the back of her head. It's to sort of keep them popped up to the front. Thread your beads or your bands onto a single skin tone like that and you're going to stretch that across this area or you're going to ping yourself, whatever. Stretch that across this area like that. Make sure one eye is either side and then pop your hook down the center of that band and stretch it above this peg here so that you've kind of made a crossover band. Now, important before we go any further, the brown band here at the base of this um, 
peg, we want to grab that and pull it up and over, all right, so that it is sitting on top of our two skin tone bands for the neck. It's a bit um, twisted, don't worry about that, but it is important because this ties in the back of the hair to the front of the face so it's all locked in together. Now we're going to do a couple of white bands for her shirt. So a pair of white bands to the right, a pair of white bands to the left, and a pair of white bands down the centre. Okay, let's put those away. We're going to take two red bands. Now you're going to just place these red bands across the centre here. Okay, so it's where where the neck is. Okay, and just place them there. Make sure they're not twisted. Lift up the centre bands that you just did there. And you're going to take this red band and pop it, both sides of it, underneath this peg. Alright, and then you will pop your two white bands back. So it's going to look like that. I know it's a bit odd, isn't it? But trust me, it works. Taking some brown bands. Let's do the little pinafore side here. Now, there's two ways you can do the arms. You can do them on your loom or you can do them on your hook. I'm going to do um, a little bit of fancy footwork, so I want to show you on the hook how we're going to do that. We're going to start by taking two skin tone bands, wrap them once and twice, okay? You're going to slide onto a pair of skin tone. one more pair of skin tone and another pair of skin tone so that's three pair of skin tone in our chain not including our little end cap now this is where we're going to have some fun I want you to take two bands and place them on the end of your hook and move them up okay so they're sitting here in front of your little bit that you've just done you're going to take another two pair of white bands two pair, one pair, and slide that on like so. Okay, so you've got your white pair with all your skin tones on it. Now the two that you just moved up, what we want to do is do these in a figure eight. So I'm going to move my little bit down here. I'm letting go of this side. I'm going to take my two white bands that are down here, move them over the top of my hook, twist and put back on my hook, making sure that I don't lose the two white that all my flesh tone are on. Okay, so make sure your flesh tone is safe. Take your two white bands, give them a twist and put them back on your hook. And then the two white bands that your flesh tone are on, you're gonna put back on your hook. You have these two bands in the middle here. You're gonna take them and pop them over the end of your hook. And we've sort of now formed this little cuff. If you can see, we've got a little cuff here, like a little sleeve cuff. Then you'll take another pair, slide through, reclaim, and we're going to pop this on our shoulder here. Let's do the same again. Two skin tone, wrap once and twice. Another pair of skin tone, slide on. That's our first pair. Oops, come here, runaway band. Here is our second pair. Here is our third pair. Now, we take two white bands, pop them on your end of your hook, and just slide them up so that they're sitting in front. Or you can take this off and just put them, but they need to be in front, all right? Take two white bands and slide this on. This is where we're going to do our figure eight. So if you keep your finger on, move it over, figure eight, and pop it back and reclaim. So you've got the two sides here, but the other side of it is in the center here. And you're going to take those two center loops and lift up and over. And you can pretty it up by pulling it either side so that it's, it's even. And then you're going to take another two and thread through. Now, if you don't want to do this, that's fine. You don't have to. It's just a little added bit of detail. 
but if you find it too fiddly and you get angry at me don't do it perfectly fine so there's our two little sleeves with cuffs we're going to start with some more brown bands okay so let's come down we're going to come down five in total so one two three four and five and again I am double banding three four five that's one and two three oopsie daisy four let's do number five and then down the center and we're going to come down just to the peg below where the others have finished We're going to do two from the centre to the right and two bands from the centre to the left and take a single and do an end cap for here. So wrap it once and twice. Pop that here and we're going to do single bands as our crossovers all the way up in little triangles. And this just ties the columns in together otherwise it would sort of all fall apart all right now skin tone we're going to take two bands and another two bands and then the same on the other side skin tone our first pair and our second pair we need some white and now you can see we're at the end of our loom and we haven't even done our shoes yet, so we're going to do our shoes on our hook, which I think is a little easier. Taking two black bands, put them on your hook, wrap once and twice, and slide onto a pair of black bands. Pretty them up so that they're evenly spaced. Don't reclaim, you're going to take another two. Slide on wrap once and twice and then reclaim so that that wrapped band is in the middle another two you're going to slide the first two loops over then the wrapped band and then your last two loops reclaim and that's our shoe but we're going to give her a bit of length in the leg by adding another pair of white as some more sock and you can see it's got the little angle so that you can angle the shoe for the correct side of her body. So we'll pop that on this leg, like that. Let's do the other side. Two, wrap once and twice, slide onto two. Pretty it up, don't reclaim. Take another two, wrap once and twice, and now we reclaim, and we slide onto another two black. Again, I like to do the first two bands, then I do the wrapped band. This is so I don't get them all tangled up on top of each other. And then the last two. As we did before, we're going to add an extra two white bands so that she has a bit of length in her leg. You can angle this the other way. And this will go on her other leg, like so. Okay, we're going to start looping things up a little bit. The first thing we're going to do is dig down and grab the two skin tone bands and, well, I'm sorry, they're white, aren't they, for her sock? Grab the two white bands either side and loop those up. Then we're going to do our skin tone. Like this. Okay, and push these down. Dig down past your end cap and you're going to grab the two top bands, loop them in and then go to the other side and grab those two, loop in and we can loop up our centre one. Now I want her to have a little bit of a, a puff to her um, dress here so I'm going to take some brown bands, I'm going to take two and where, this, where these skin tone ones are I'm just going to pop my hook through. Alright, I'm going to drag back two 
and hold on to them like this and I'm going to chain another pair of bands onto that like this all right I'm going to put one side the side that's closest to the end of my hook on that peg and I'm going to hold the other one out to the side with my fingers I'm going to dig down find the two bottom bands loop up and then put those two brown bands back on okay let's do the other side two brown bands through the skin for the leg just the skin for the leg reclaim take another two chain onto them like that now we're just going to put the two closest to the end of our hook on the peg above and we'll hold these two out to the side while we loop these two brown ones up and then we will replace these two onto that peg as well push things down let's continue looping up by looping up you're going to push those crossover bands back with the back of your hook so you're just getting to those bottom two bands loop up now looping these two up gives us the pinafore look that we're looking for for our little girl's dress so they will look like straps on her little uniform let's loop up the center so to do the funky little cravat bit here with our red bands what we're going to do take these two this side put it down here on your middle peg you will dig down find the two bottom white bands and loop them up okay then take these two red bands and put them back over here do the same this side and you can see I'm holding to make sure that I don't lose the red bands dig down and again loop up now what we're going to do is again take these and move to this peg again we're going to loop the center one up push things down grab the two from one side and place on you have to be careful that these don't flip off and place the other two on now we need to go down and find these two bottom skin tone bands and it can be a bit tricky make sure you have both I'm just trying to lose one here there we go wiggle 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 and there we have them both looped up now we get to do the fancy bit for the extra hair now in order to do the extensions that I want for her little hair here I'm going to remove the eyes just briefly like that I'm going to dig down now we are only going to be working on these two bottom parts of the bands okay top two go to this side the next two go to this side and my next two and I will loop them there's one let's find the other up here now if you have a look we've got two loops at the bottom here and two loops at the top for her face I am going to go through the two loops at the bottom here okay of the skin tone I'm going to take two bands brown I'm going to pull through and reclaim I'm going to take another two brown pull through reclaim and another two brown and pull through and reclaim I'm going to take these two off and release them and I'm going to put my brown bands back on my hook and the two closest to the end of my hook I am putting on that peg 
and holding the other two out to the side. I'm going back to my skin tone and putting them right there. Okay, now these two here, I'm just going to leave up on here for a second as I do this other side because we need to put our eyes back on before we close things up. So again, two bands, you're going through the bottom two of the skin tone. Loop up, I'm sorry, chain in and reclaim and reclaim and another two and chain. Remember the two loops that you just put back on are going on this peg. So release that, put these two on. These two can sit up here in a holding spot and you're going to find your two little um, skin tone and pop those back. Try and make sure they're not too twisted. This one I just twisted up. There we go. You can pull that out to the side if you need to just to make sure. Now we're going to put our eyes back on. So first of all grab your little band and twist it once, twice, three times and pop that back on. Push things down. Here's your eyes. Pop on. Make sure one goes either side and then split your band and place one over the other. All right, just as we did before. Now, we're going to dig down and we need to find these two skin tone bands here and loop up. Same on this side. Make sure you just get the two skin tone and loop up. Now we can put these brown bands on top here like that. Push things down. Take these two and place them on top. Push down. Digging all the way down past the end caps. Push the end caps back with the back of your hook. You're trying to find these bottom two brown bands. You have to go through the eye bands and everything just to find those bottom two. And I think I've got more. No, I've got just two. Okay, don't forget to loop up the center of your face. We're looping up the side here and another side here and then the center. And then using two brown bands, we're going to tie off. Oops, let's make sure we use both of them. I use two because it's an insurance policy. If one band breaks, the other band will still hold everything together. I use the back of a hook to help me take my creations off my loom um, of a metal hook. I find that it helps release the pressure. If you are just pulling this off your loom, you really do run the risk of your, of your creation snapping, the band snapping. It's too much. Gently ease off. And where you have lots of bands on one peg, it can get a bit overwhelming for your poor creation. So you do want to take care. Where you've just got two or three bands on, sure, you can just lift it up and pull it down. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm always erring on the uh, wary side. I figure I've taken this long to make the uh, make the figure. I don't want to redo it again. <laughs> so here we are. Here's our little girl. Let's straighten her out and get her into shape. Pull the little bit of puff from her skirt. Now I didn't do the skirt terribly, terribly puffy because um, it's sort of like a little tunic, and uh, I I just felt that it looked better this way. And that's the little necktie that they that they wear.
So if you wanted to do, you could just leave her like this, but if you did want to do the little sash that goes across, what I'd suggest doing is just where you come up from the little lip of the puffiness of her dress, just go through one little band here with your hook and grab a single brown band and we're going to pull that through and reclaim. You're going to chain another one, another two, three and four. So in total you have one, two, three, four and five. That will go across to her left shoulder. Now to join it to her left shoulder take one side off your hook. You're going to look at her shoulder here and see where the brown band is. Just go through one and then re replace your little brown band on your hook. Taking a single band you're going to go through all of the loops that were on your hook and then we're going to start going down the other way so again that was our first one chain another one two three four see how you're at I think you're probably good take the end one off so you're holding it Go through the single brown band and reclaim like this. So you have them on your hook like that. Single brown band and we're going to go through all of the ones that are on a hook like this and tie off in a slip knot, nice and tight. Okay, and this, this can be her little um, sash if you wanted to make her one. You would hide this little band inside her body okay so just grab the band and pull it inside like that and then go from the other side through the center so that your hook is going through the center of her body and just gently pull through so that it's hidden inside her so that you can't see the end of that band all right so if you wanted to do the little sash that's how I would do it but um, you, you don't have to. It's completely up to you whether you want to have the little sash or not. As I mentioned, this is a design by Linda and uh, she's from Rainbow Loom Obsession. And I'm, I'm really, really very proud that I was able to do this for her. So I hope you like her. My little brownie. Take care. Bye.